I'm kind of struggling as to what I want to talk about today. I, I did some pretty good soul searching writing over the weekend, and and wow, it, it's like do I do I talk about it? Was it meant for this place and page? I mean, on on, on Sunday, uh, I actually wrote down a quote, and the quote was, "You don't need a Bluetooth hookup to reach the sights and sounds of God." It's it's like okay, why? I don't understand. You don't need a Bluetooth hookup in order to reach the sights and sounds of God. We're, we're all amazed by technology, but only when technology is working, right? I first heard about the Bluetooth somewhere around 2001 or 2002. Michael Mack, he showed us his earpiece and he says, man, this is going to change the future. Bluetooth is the only way to go. My sound bar for the flat screen doesn't want to play nice. I, I, I don't get it. Most people would race out to buy a new one. Well, it's taking up too much space and time in my head, and it's like, you know what, I, I need to have a Bluetooth hookup right now. And so all of a sudden, I, I, I put on the page, you don't need a Bluetooth hookup to reach the sights and sounds of God. Basically, he's always going to be there. I didn't want to take this into a religious way, but, you know, but paging through the, the daily writing, you, you can't help but sit there and go, well, what is the expected word today? It doesn't have to be something that you planned. Because when you live in the presence of now, stream thinking and stream living is one of those things where you act upon it in this moment of now. And that's what this is all about. Hey, it's Arrow. It is The Daily Mess, a chronological walk through an everyday world. I write about realism. I write about what is happening in the presence of now. And you learn to study it because all of these messages are around us. It's just that we just don't want to deal with it. We, we want to have life this way. And when it doesn't go this way. We don't want to deal with it. We'll just go completely in a different direction. We'll buy a brand new car. Why? Well, because it makes me feel good for the moment. This is The Daily Mess. I couldn't believe what fell from my thoughts last evening. I openly admitted to a co-worker how extremely painful it is to get older. I mean, nobody passes that a different area of your body isn't screaming for some love and some attention. I blame a lot of my pain on my nearly 15 years as a martial artist. Kick bags, breaking bricks, taekwondo tournaments. The body took in the impact, and today, all of that numbness is wearing off. The brain is like, oh yeah, we did do something a little abnormal back then. Waking the body up doesn't mean closing off the mind. Staying aware is essential. Yeah, there's, there's pain. At this age where I am, I finally understand what my combat karate sensei was always saying. He would say, you don't need to kick to the head. And I would go, but I want to. It looks cool. I see it in the movies. Bruce Lee. No kicking to the head. And I go, can I kick to the ribs? No, no, no. One day, one day, you will only have the strength to kick the knee. What? No, no, that, that, that's not cool as a martial artist. But even today, that's all I think about. If I was ever put in a situation where I had to kick, side kick, roundhouse kick, hop step kick, what kind of kick would I properly deliver? This body of pain? The sensei was right. I'm going for the knee. I'm going to take out the towers. Strange how things like that happen, huh? Even though the body is hurting, everything that you've experienced in life becomes a tool. And you begin to understand the lessons that people have shared with you along the way. And I'm sure you've said it too, where you go, I, I sound like my dad. My dad said this when I was a kid and I hated him for it. But now I say it and it's like, oh man, seems like it's the best answer. Why did I think of this when I was a kid? Well, it's because your dad was busy telling you about it and he knew that you were going to need it one day. When your body aches, it doesn't have to be the pain that you're feeling in your fingers, your knees, your feet, your head. But how about the pain that is created by knowledge that you're not using. Think about it. What are you holding that can be the answer to not only just your plans, but those that you meet on an everyday basis? What is your knowledge? It's in pain. It wants to be able to step free of what you put in there so it can be taught to someone who needs it in this moment. The pain in our body. What if it's not arthritis? What if it's knowledge? I'm Errol, and that's The Daily Mess.